everybody. Welcome to the first podcast. Jesse Nyberg here from Jesse Nyberg Visual Design. And this is going to be the kind of intro and basic overview of the podcast and how I'm going to be running things around here. In the future, I like to be having guests, figuring out some of the logistics, if I'm going to do in-person, Zoom, things like that. For now, I just kind of want to go over what we're going to be doing on this podcast. It doesn't exactly have a name yet, so if uh, you want to drop a name in the comments, that'd be great. Open to any suggestions. Me and my uh, producer, Vince, came up with one creator's block, but looks like it's already taken, so not sure if that's going to work out. But I'm basically going to be having on different creatives, videographers, designers, artists, photographers, writers, all things like that. And I kind of want to go through their creative process, how they got where they are today, how things have been going, freelancing, agency work, working for a company, whatever, um, post pandemic, because we all know that, uh, especially for creatives, that's been like an interesting and weird time for everyone. Not trying to be cliche like uh, those commercials uh, in these uncertain times, but it really is. So we got to kind of also create a support system for each other. And I'm hoping this podcast will also help uh, expose creatives and other creatives to each other, help us build a network and just overall grow and strive together. So I guess if I'm going to be talking to my guests about their story and how they came, where they are today, I'm going to kind of go over that myself. It's This is cold brew. It's early. This is not whiskey. Just FYI. So my name is Jesse Nyberg. I'm originally from a small town outside of LA called San Dimas in Covina area. Now I live in Hollywood where I work as a full-time brand designer for Art of Sport, a performance-driven athlete care company that makes deodorant, body wash, and is um, represents clients like James Harden, Juju, co-founded by Kobe Bryant. That's basically my day job, and I do a lot of work for them, packaging, digital, web, social media, things like that. Yeah, so basically that's that. And then on the side, I've been freelancing, working for a variety of clients, my own personal projects, running this YouTube channel, a lot of things going on in that. There's definitely ups and downs when it comes to that. And I think that that's a, definitely something that designers and creatives should be transparent about. Everything isn't always 100% perfect where you're getting clients all the time. Sometimes there's really low months. Sometimes there's really high months. I've learned that you got to pursue work or always take on jobs when you're too busy already, because that way you have the next thing lined up, even if it may be overwhelming or stressful at times. So origin story of Jesse Nyberg as a designer is start somewhere in high school. I was never really that kid that was like, oh, you're really good at drawing or you should be an artist or anything like that. Um, I was definitely very curious and uh, I feel like that's where a lot of my design thinking chops come from, but I wasn't necessarily like an artist. So in high school, I started taking on this uh, course, Visual Communications. Shout out Mr. Murray for teaching me how to use the pen tool and making us trace uh, the Batman logo in Illustrator to get those Bezier curves nice and tight. And so there I learned to screen print, Mess around with Photoshop, Illustrator, learned some basics of Adobe. And I think that was kind of planted the seed into my head that I wanted to be a designer or some kind of uh, digital artist even. And I really appreciate that because a lot of high schools and programs for people before college, they don't really give you a lot of opportunity to be exposed to things like that, or they don't teach you that those can be viable careers other than just the basics like STEM majors or things like that. So after that, I decided to go over to Chico State. Shout out, wore the shirt, very coincidental. But uh, I went there and then I was like nervous. I was like, oh, I don't think you're gonna make money as a designer, designers don't make money, uh, artists don't make any money. All the horror stories and scary things that I've been kind of convinced to think but then so I switched my major to business and like for the first semester and I started doing that and I was like this is bullshit I barely even got to signing up for the courses where I was like I don't want to be doing this I'd rather make less money or whatever and be like doing it but I realized like uh, it's not necessarily the case it doesn't have to be a compromise you can make 
uh, good money and have a good career being a designer and a lot of other creative positions. I basically went on to go through my coursework, do a lot of that stuff, get more familiar and grow as a designer. And I think college, I don't think it's absolutely necessary. I think there's brilliant designers that are from self-taught, um, different little like trade school programs, just anything, uh, mentorships that are better than me even. And uh, But I do think that college was a good experience because it helped me grow as an individual as well as it helped me build a network and learn with people like-minded, especially uh, learning in person because you can't really, even though it's a big cost, you can't really buy that like critique and reviews with your peers. I think it's very valuable and it helped me kind of get my own sense of style and learn from some pretty great professors. Shout out Frank Armstrong and Barbara Sudik. And it's really, I think, valuable in that sense. Also, though, it is expensive. So I understand why people would be hesitant to pursue that. So one thing I feel like sucks for people right now with the pandemic is going to school through like Zoom or webcams. I feel like that is definitely not the business. You might as well just use uh, YouTube and stuff because you're going to get the degree. But I just think the most valuable things are in person when it comes to uh, school. So that's kind of rough. But yeah, uh, that's kind of my basic story right now. I've been just doing a lot of different freelance work and trying to get this YouTube thing going. And if you get, I'm hoping on bringing on some pretty cool guests. I think it's going to be a good time. I'm going to, I want to do some in-person ones over at a spot that my homie spot in Koreatown, as well as I want to do some digital. I um, also want to start doing some kind of segments where I go over things that people ask me, any comments, listener questions. I'd love to hear them because the community and the fans and the fellow creatives are going to be what drive this. It's not just me. I want the everyone to be involved equally. And I want this to be a cool, like creative brain trust of ideas and just entertainment. I really want to help shout out the people that I'm going to bring on. So we're always going to have links in the bio and the description and all that showing all the different uh, works and links that these people want to shout out. Also, if you want to sign up for the Patreon, I'm going to be putting the high quality uh, video in there for you to download or watch. And as well as I'm going to try to maybe get some behind the scenes stuff going and give you like a little extra bonus content for being like a cool supporter and everything. Last thing, I just want to go over kind of what's upcoming and things like that. I'm working on this, uh, poster and kind of vlog type thing that we're going to be releasing for this desert rave renegade festival extravaganza whatever you want to call it um that we're doing in the desert called garth and i created already the flyers and some cool promotional content for that for my boys over at perfect dark i'll throw their link in the description they're cool like house music techno collective some guys i met over in northern california and their shit's really cool and we're my producer and video guy Vince. We're thinking about recording some content out there as well as pairing it with the video of me making the poster. I think it could be some really cool ideas. And then stuff like that, I'd like, I like to hear the feedback on what you guys think about those different types of things. And so this is going to be a pretty short one. We're going to end it out here. But basically future podcasts, think it anywhere between 15, 20 minutes to 30, 45, however it goes with the guests. I think it'll be a lot more cohesive and flow a lot better once we're bouncing ideas off each other. So if you have any ideas for guests as well, or you want to be on the podcast, uh, any of my fellow creators and designers, let me know. Send me a message, drop a link in the comments, and always make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos. It helps me out. And Check out the Patreon, the Discord, all that stuff. Let's really get the community going. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.